Now I'm joined by beauty reporter Kirby Johnson, who has some tips on how to prolong your hair color today. This is really important because so many people spend money on hair color. Yeah, and you it, can, save it. it can get expensive, and around 75% of American women color their hair every single year, whether it's covering up grays, getting highlights, or just wanting to change their overall look. So it really is important to learn how to preserve your hair color as long as possible. And there may be some men who color their hair from time to time. Yes, I, I think about do that. believe there are some men that color their hair, so it's important for everybody. No, it really is. It really is. So what's your first step? What's your go-to? Okay, so the first step is just to make sure you're really conscientious of what you're using to wash your hair. So many products like shampoos and conditioners have a ton of ingredients that can really break down your hair color. So the number one thing is make sure that you use a sulfate-free shampoo. And sulfates are in a lot of shampoos. Yes. People don't realize that, but once you start looking, you'll see it on many of them. And not just shampoos, but cleaning products, because what that does is actually creates the lather and the foam that we commonly get when we're washing our hair. So one thing to do is always, like I said, look for sulfate-free options. Sulfates, because they create that lather, they, they're a little bit more harsh on your hair. So look for sulfate-free because um, they're less harsh on the hair. Also, they're made with more natural ingredients. That way, it's not going to break down your hair as easily. And we really like this one from Carol's Daughter. It's the Black Vanilla Shampoo. Um, it smells great, it's sulfate-free, but also uh, it has a lot of moisturizing components as well. I think we've been trained to think that it needs to lather to clean your hair, but that's not the case. No, it's just, definitely. It's kind of a gimmick. It's kind of a foo-foo uh, component of washing your hair, so it's still going to clean your hair, but it's not going to strip it of the color as quickly. Right, and now moisturizing is really important, too. Definitely. There are 5,000, approximately 5,000 chemicals in hair dye. Wow. Okay? So, so talk about drying out. Your hair is going to be dry and brittle, and it's taking away all that moisture, and the only way you're going to get it back is if you replenish that moisture yourself. It's not going to happen by osmosis. So once a week, use a deep conditioning treatment. Um, we really like this one from Kerastos. Kerastos is a brand that I find synonymous with happy, healthy hair. And deep conditioning treatments, what they do is they basically give your hair a tall glass of water. It's really just it's kind of like, it's it. going to absorb that moisture and make your hair really nice and vibrant and shiny. But also when your hair looks good, your color is going to look better as well. So should we do this more than once or leave it on longer? You know, read the directions as always, read the directions. This is a once a week Product, but you can also use leave-in conditioners that you can use almost every day just to give your hair that extra surge of moisture. All right, great. So we've covered in the shower. What happens when we step out? Okay. So every woman I know has used a hair dryer or a curling wand or a straightening iron. But if there's any piece of advice I could give to everybody, it's just to lay off the heat styling. Ooh, you're gonna and have I know with a lot of the addicts out there. So I heat know. <laughs> Step away from the hair dryer. Go natural for a few days. Let your hair air dry. Put it in a ponytail. The thing about heat is that it can really damage your hair cuticle. So you want to make sure that you're protecting it always, whether it's a gloss, a serum, or some kind of protective spray. Look for products that have glycerin in them as well. What glycerin does, it's kind of like a barrier and a shield. So when you do use that straightening iron or wand or whatever, you want to make sure that your hair cuticle is protected and it's not going to break down the color as easily. Your hair is going to look a lot more smooth as well. What product do you love to use? Okay, so we love Goldwell. Uh, Goldwell, this is a serum or a spray that you can spray on damp hair or dry hair, but it has glycerin, but also raspberry seed oil. So it kind of sounds luxurious, but it what does. that does is it actually makes your hair look a lot more vibrant. All right, I bet you it smells great too. It does, it smells amazing. Okay, any parting tips? Yes, after you get your hair colored without fail, do not wash it for 48 hours. Really? This will just help the hair color to set and it won't you know, strip the hair of you, when you use shampoo and conditioner. And also try to wash your hair every other day. Even the water that we use to bathe with and wash our hair can be harsh on it. So um, you can also look into water filtration systems too if need be. Okay, thanks so much, Kirby. Thank hair you, Matthew. around the world will look better today. Yes, Start, everybody's hair, today. more vibrant. All right, thanks so much. <laughs>